welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite Amazon home products this is my first time doing that but I have been shopping on Amazon for years and I have been accumulating a lot of stuff in the home category so home is not limited to just like furniture and kitchen stuff it's a whole bunch of random stuff so I've compiled a list I put it on my phone it's it's very long actually so I'm not I'm gonna try not to talk too much I'm gonna just try to be on point and move on with this stuff because it's a lot I have a segment that is just dedicated to Coda's favorites and how do I know they're Coda's favorites because he gravitates towards them and some of the stuff I just like for him as well so I got to get through this whole list so let's get started first of all I want to mention the outdoor rug that I got from Amazon for my back patio last summer when I did my uh, patio makeover it's a blue color and I think I got a five by seven size perfect size and we kept it out there for the whole year and it has held up beautifully. We kept a lot of the like decorative pillows out there and some of them have molded and stuff and I'm just gonna throw them away and start over. But the rug is still in great condition and it's held up very well cause it's an outdoor rug of course. And it was just a great buy and it's a beautiful color. I don't know if I'm gonna go with that same color scheme this year but I'm still gonna keep that rug and just kind of play around with it. So. The next thing is a touch lamp that I have in my office. It's um the base of it is wooden and then the top of it is this like tan color and you just tap the base and it goes to different levels of brightness and everything and it creates a mood in my office and I just thought it was a nice touch to finish off like the corner in my office because I didn't want anything too bright and it just creates a vibe and I think that's really really cute okay so I got this coaster pack for our kit for our living room because you know you don't want people messing up your coffee table so I got this coaster pack and it comes with um, like three or four different colors and the colors go with like our vibe they're not like super bright and everything they're more like mellow and muted colors um earth tones and you know black and creams and stuff like that highly recommend it and it comes in a cute little basket to store them in so we just keep that on our coffee table and it's really cute okay next up we have a bar cart now i don't actually have it for myself i actually got it for my sister for her birthday so her gift because she turned 35 and that is a milestone birthday shout out to my sister um we decorated her living room in her dining room and we got a ton of stuff off of amazon okay so we got her a gold bar cart and she decorated it really really cute and it's affordable and super cute and you can do a lot with it if you're somebody who likes gold accents like me and my sister definitely pick up this bar cart next up we have this key magnet holder i i think when before i even got on tiktok i would watch like people's favorites videos and i saw somebody mention this so you unscrew the bottom of your light light fixture you just take those screws out and you put those magnets in you screw screw that at the bottom of those well the screws are supposed to be and you just hang your keys on it and I was looking for something like that because we would just kind of throw our keys on the couch and stuff like that when we walked in the door. And we just wanted something to just, you know, easily put our keys and, you know, move on with our day. And that is perfect. So you just got to make sure you, you put the keys on there right so they don't fall on the floor because they can. But the magnets are very strong. And that's where we store our keys as soon as we go in the house. It's super convenient. And I just thought that was a great idea. It comes with like four in a pack. So we've only used the two. Such a great buy. Okay, my vo my motivation water bottle, okay? I was inspired to get this from my sister. She got one. I don't know if this is the same brand, but oh my gosh. I love this bottle so much. And I really, I'm not playing with y'all. I use this every day, okay? I go to the gym three times a week. I definitely take it with me. And I use it like on the days I don't go to the gym. It just makes drinking water more fun. First of all, it's beautiful. It has this gorgeous teal to purple ombre. And on the sides, it has the, you know, how much water it goes up to 32 ounces. And then 32 ounces, and then it has 900 milliliters over here. And then on this side, it has like the times of the day from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then it says get started, you got it, keep chugging, never give up, almost there and you did it. And then it tells you to refill over here. 
and you just press this button it pops up and then it has a straw I like that it has a straw in here so you can get to the bottom you don't have to like turn it all the way up love this so much and then it has this strap on it and this was very inexpensive this was like $13 you know some of these water bottles I am a water bottle girl I love blankets and I love water bottles and this is my absolute favorite I'm telling you and it's lightweight it's not heavy because I do have some thicker uh, heavier water bottles and I love this one okay next up my silk pillowcases so um, I like silk pillowcases because my scarf always falls off and it's another layer of protection to keep moisture in my hair and silk pillowcases are good for your skin as well and I was like that would be nice after I've done my nighttime skincare or whatever to lay on a nice silk pillow so um, I have my regular pillows for my bed and then I have a, se a separate pillow just for sleeping for my skin and my hair so I have several of those I probably have like three or four uh, silk, silk pillows that I can rotate through um, next are my floodlights for my background okay I haven't had these um for a long time I probably had them probably for the last two months because I wanted something to create like a mood back here because people actually re be looking in your background this lady was like me and my daughter uh it was my shorts reel that I put up she was like I know we're supposed to be looking at the clothes but we're trying to see what you got going on in the background <laughs> so I wanted some um interest back here with the lighting to separate me from the background and that's what I got I'm not sure if this is necessarily for backgrounds but that's how I used it I have it on the floor and I have my pillows covering it so you can't see it um, and it just creates like a mood back there and you have several different colors that you can uh, adjust the remote to and I love that it comes with a remote so I can turn it on and off real easily and get up out of this room after I film okay love that and I feel like it just creates a cool vibe back there my desk fan oh my god I cannot be in this office without this fan okay I told you several times ever since we moved in this house in this is an attic room basically and it gets very hot the temperature is way different than downstairs i'm sure it's not balanced or whatever it's very aesthetically pleasing it's not like ugly it's nice and like elongated and everything and it's and it's pretty it's not a super big fan either so i have one in pink and it has three different levels that it goes up to um, I keep it on the low setting when I'm filming and it, it keeps me cool like I can stand here and film for hours because I have this fan um, now when I'm filming clothing hauls it's a little bit difficult because I need more uh, like a bigger fan but just for me talking and doing hair videos and makeup and stuff like that is fine um, and I also have a white one that I want to show you guys and I keep that on my nightstand because I'm somebody who gets hot when they sleep and I like to stay cool I cannot stand being hot when I sleep so I had to pick up two of them and I low-key think I need to buy one for Adrian in his office as well so love those desk fans um, I wanted to mention this gallery wall that I got from my mama for Christmas now I just thought that was a cute idea I love seeing gallery walls in people's houses with their family pictures and all that stuff but I was looking for, I was just like looking around to see how much gallery walls cost on different websites. I saw one that was like $500 for a set and I was like, that's too much. So I was like, let me go on Amazon and see what, what they got. And they had a nine piece gallery wall set for, I think it was like $64. I bought that immediately for my mama and it looks so good in her house it looks really really good I if we had space our our walls are already you know decorated with pictures and stuff I would get that for myself honestly so she has black frames but I'm pretty sure they have white as well and other frames so check it out if you're looking for an affordable gallery wall that is great quality so she wanted black and white to be the thing so what I did was I got some pictures that she you know pre-selected and I just went to Walgreens and I went on walgreens.com and just put in the pictures got the sizing to match each picture and printed those out and they put the gallery wall up and I got her some um command strips because I don't play about you know nailing stuff in the wall command strips that's how we got everything hung in this house pretty much except for like the mirrors and the floating shelves and somebody else did that for us so 
uh, command strips are so clutch. So definitely check out that gallery wall. The so, wireless remote control. So I used that wireless remote control for our Christmas tree this past Christmas and it was so convenient because before that we would have to climb under the tree and unplug the tree. So annoying, nobody wants to do that. But not only for Christmas, I need to bring it up here and you know connect it to all of my filming equipment so when I'm done filming I don't have to turn off everything individually like I'm doing now and I can just use one button everything's turned off and it's so affordable I think it comes in a two-pack as well um, and I actually I think I gave one to my mama so she wouldn't have to unplug her Christmas tree the same way so highly recommend it for Christmas trees but certainly if you're somebody who just wants to turn off something with one click and that's it. Um, my trunk organizer for my car. I was watching so many TikTok videos of like car organization and stuff. Um, I need to clean up my car right now, but um, that trunk organization thing is so cute. You can put groceries in there and everything, but I put like emergency stuff in there like first aid kit, pads, and you can put like a second pair of clothes and sneakers and stuff like that. I like to have that kind of stuff in my car as like just like a cautionary thing just to be prepared. Um, but I keep that in my trunk and that's one of those TikTok things that just worked out. I bought a lot of car stuff and that's one of them that I really enjoyed. I got this because of Saw Life. She made an Amazon video last year. Pretty sure it was last year and I had to pick it up. It is a bathroom shower caddy. So we have one of those like indentions or cutouts in, in our shower where we can put shampoo and stuff. But I have to have shampoo, I gotta have body scrubs and all kind of stuff. So I needed another like caddy for my stuff. The caddies that I saw, they didn't like fit bot like bigger bottles that well. So I love this one because it's like slanted and you can put bigger bottles in it. Highly recommend that. Shout out to Saw Life for putting me on to that because I use it every day and it's very easy to um, put on your wall of your shower. So you can, I think you can drill it in there, but I ain't doing all that. They have a two ways you can do it. You can drill it in your wall, I think, or you can just use like the adhesive sticky back thing and just apply it to the wall of your shower and it holds your stuff. It hasn't fallen down once and it's just such a good buy. So pick that up. Okay, I wanna mention my tripod. I don't know the brand of this, but I'll have it, you know, on the screen over here and in the description box. So I love this particular tripod over like the one I've been using for years because I believe this goes up to like 72 inches, which is six feet tall and I'm tall. And I've noticed a lot of tripods are just not made for tall people. So you can extend the neck and turn it horizontally so you can film in that way. So this is this is a more expensive tripod, but I thought it was a great investment for me. I saw, I think Simone Cherise, she had, she's a great content creator. And she did a video on like the equipment she uses. And this was one of them, one of the uh, pieces of equipment that she uses. And I have been really enjoying it. So definitely consider buying that one. Okay, I wanted to mention the mesh zipper pouches for my wig storage. So in these cube storage things that you see back here, I have a lot of my wigs and I need to do a wig sale. I'm gonna have one in June cause I haven't had one in probably like nine months. So I keep, I don't keep my wigs in boxes because I don't have a closet in here to store them like I used to at the apartment. So this is my solution. I keep my wigs in these clear containers and I write their names on them and I keep them in those. So yeah, and I'm gonna mention the other stuff that you see back here as well. The drop stop, it's for your car. This is a Shark Tank uh, like invention. So you know how like you'll drop fries in between your car, in, in between your seats in your car. Well, I was in the drive-thru of Panera sometime last year and I dropped my debit card in between uh, my seat to my car and I was panicking because I was like next up in line and I had to get out of the line and get that fixed. So I would say this is super good for that so you don't have to worry about dropping important things in between your seats and trying to find them. So it fills in that space so you don't have to worry about that at all. Love that. So okay, I wanted to mention the Audrey Stackable Cosmetic Drawers. 
Um, I don't know, I, I think that is considered home and not beauty, even though this is a beauty product, how I use it. So I keep a separate desk in the middle of my room so I can do my, film my content. So I keep a lot of makeup on my desk as well and I have two sets, two sets of these drawers and then like a skinny set for my eyeshadow palettes. I love this. I actually think I want to get another set so I can put more makeup on it, but I probably don't need to do that. But I love these acrylic drawers. They weren't that expensive. Yeah, it's not much I can say about it. I just think they've, they've helped with keeping some makeup out here, like my everyday makeup. And then I have like my, you know, makeup I don't use all the, all the time in a separate drawer. And I love these drawers, highly recommend them, especially if you're looking for like affordable acrylic drawers. Uh, let's circle back to my wig storage back here. So I keep my wigs, I keep my wigs and wig supplies and planner supplies and stuff in these, in these um, storage cubes. So the storage system is the Ikea Calyx system and I have two sets and I have them just, you know, stuck together um, or sat side by side. So in total, I have 18 cubes and I got the storage cubes as well from Amazon, the pink ones and then these like tan ones. And I just love this solution. I originally saw Miss Nashley Mary do this when she had an apartment tour in 2019. And I was like, when I move into my house, I'm gonna do that and I did. And it just makes, like I need to have a wig sale so bad because I'm, I'm just, ran over with wigs but you can't really tell because it looks so neat back here with how I have this system set up so highly recommend that if you don't have a closet like I, I don't have a closet in here so this is my solution to that problem okay I want to mention the folding desk and I mentioned this on my channel last year I was filming a lot in my bedroom last year but I didn't want to bring down like a a table that was like up all the time I wanted something I could just you know set up put all my filming equipment up and then break it down so I wouldn't have our so I wouldn't have our bedroom looking a mess. So I got this wooden table or if you still work from home, this will be a good option because you can just break it down after you're done working or after your kids are done with school or whatever. So love that desk, but I I use it as a content creator just to, you know, film in different spots in my house, okay? I want to mention this faux plant back here. Okay, I love this plant so much. I got it because of Nita Danielle. She mentioned it. It's always in her background in her fashion content. And she mentioned where she got it from and it was it's from Amazon. And if I could, I would get more than just that one. Um, but it's such a beautiful palm, faux palm leaf kind of plant. And it just creates like a nice ambiance in the background in my videos. So uh, if you want a vibe or you just, you know, like a nice faux plant, definitely check that one out. It's really cute. Everybody mentions this in their favorites videos, but I'm gonna mention it too, cause it's very convenient. Electric lighters, like we're not using the Bix anymore. We're using electric lighters. You can um, plug it up to charge it up and then you just, just mash the switch and it'll come on. Just make sure you charge it and everything. It's just super convenient, more so than using matches or the classic Bic lighter from back in the day so okay i want to mention my pink rug and my office back here okay it's really really cute the colors are very like girly it's pink and blue and stuff like that it's very cute um i originally got it in an 8 by 10 but it was way too big for this space so i went back um i gave that one away to one of my friends and then i got it in a 5 by 7 and it works better for this space it's not as big and it's super cute and great quality i had a little bit of the rug kind of coming up a little bit um when i first got it but it wasn't a big deal to me and it was very affordable okay i want to mention my phone tri tripod here this helps me so much with my fashion content because i don't have anybody helping me with that so I have this tripod here and that's how I record like my fashion reels. I'll just put it in front of me, put my iPhone on it and record my reels. It does come with a remote. So that that's even better of uh, like a Bluetooth remote. So you can start and stop, you know, when you're recording videos or uh, take pictures with that wireless remote. So that is a 
that's a great thing to have if you're a content creator. Next, I have my Dansley desk mount lights. I think I got these in 2020 and I have loved them ever since. So um, these are lights that are attached to my desk and I have a three point lighting system. I have my ring light in front of me and my Dansley lights on either side. So I'm, you know, lit all around. And um, they're a cheaper version of the I forgot the, the name of the other lights, but it don't even matter because I love these. Yeah, it's just uh, gamers use these and I just think they're convenient to have on your desk instead of having, you know, taking up so much floor space and everything. I'm not trying to have bulky equipment because I've had it before with, uh, what are those things? Those soft boxes. Ugh. I hate, I hate that. And I was in a, in an apartment with Adrian and we shared an office and I would have those big old soft boxes so annoying and inconvenient but these are great highly recommend them I've been rocking with them for two years love them so much and I wanted to mention my necklace holder I have it attached to the side let me see if I can I have it attached to the side over here of my calyx system it just has like a sticky strip on the back and you just stick it wherever you want and I keep my necklaces over here so they're not tangled and you know I hate when my necklaces get tangled and that's what I ha I've had this for a long time as well probably two years and that's how I hang my necklaces and it's just very convenient okay if you're still here you know talk to me in the premiere thank you so much for still watching and you know staying with me so let's get into Coda segment and then we'll be done we shop so much when we first got Coda on Amazon for his stuff because it was affordable and you could get it in two days. Um, we got his harness and his leash from Amazon and we've gotten it in several different colors. I'll put it on the side. We got it in a camo color. We got it in blue. We got it in red. I think we got it in black one time and they do have different sizes for, you know, whatever size dog that you do have and it's great quality. So, I don't I feel like it's just safer to have the harness so we love the harnesses that they have on Amazon the Nina Otison toy they're interactive dog toys so they're like boredom busters because you know Cody gets bored sometimes if he's not going to camp or if we're busy it's just something cool to make sure he's not bored so they have different puzzles and everything where you can put treats in them and then they have to figure out how to get the treats with the toys. So they have varying levels of difficulty from one to four. Um, one is like easy, two is intermediate, three is advanced, and four is, I forgot what four is. It's like expert. So he loves the intermediate toy that they do have, but we do have um, the other levels as well. And we need to pull those out. Like when we want to like bond with him, bond with him and have some fun, I think that's a really cool thing to have. His car seat. Oh my gosh, that's the best thing about this segment is his car seat. So um, of course you can get like one of those things to drape all the way in the back of your car. Hair doesn't get everywhere and he can just stay in one spot. But I love this car seat. You just have his harness on and then the loop that's in the back. You just attach it to the seat belt buckle and just, you know, put it in there and it'll keep him in place. And it's just been great. I forgot what we were doing before that, but it's just so convenient and it's so cute. It's really cute too. And you can take it out and wash it if you need to. Coda does get car sick sometimes still on longer rides. So we've had to take it out and wash it. So um, it's very convenient and it's so cute. It's like perfect. I've, I've posted this kind of like several times on my social media and I do get a lot of people asking me about it. Love the car seat, highly recommend it. 10 out of 10, like that's the best thing on this list, on Coda's list, okay? Um, his slow feeder. Now we don't use it that much anymore now that he's bigger, but we do use his slow feeder when he's like boarded overnight because sometimes he can still eat too fast and we don't want him to choke. So we do like bring his slow feeder sometimes. Um, but we certainly had to use his slow feeder when he was a puppy because Coda would eat so fast. So um, if you do have a puppy that eats really fast, definitely check out the slow feeders that they have on Amazon. And when we go visit our parents and stuff, um, we bring his dog travel bottle and his uh, bowls. So this particular listing comes with, comes with a bottle that's separated in two and you can put food, dry food on one side and then his water, his or her water, you know, on the other side. And it comes with two bowls that are attached to the 
to the bottle. It's so convenient for travel. So, or if you're just walking, like walking or hiking with your with your dog, that's a great idea as well. We don't have this now, these two products, but we did when we first got colder for the first like six months or so. So we built him like a little area with um, like exercise mats put together so he wouldn't, you know, soil the hardwood floors. And, and we had a gate to keep him contained in this one area. So the exercise mat material is good for if you're doing like an at-home gym, but we did that for Coda in his little space. And then we had this um, like play baby gate around him as well. And I just, when we were watching this, this particular dog trainer on YouTube and that's something she recommended to have like this space set up for your dog. Now that Coda is older, we don't have that anymore because First of all, I wanted my living room to be cute and I didn't want all that bulky stuff everywhere. But he's mature enough and more independent, you know, potty training stuff so we don't have to worry about him having to be contained to this one area all the time. He still, you know, sleeps in his crate from time to time but um, he doesn't have that whole space taken up in the living room anymore. But it's good, it's a good setup for people who just got a puppy. like. Yeah, it's good for that. And lastly, I wanted to mention the Molly Mutt crate cover and dog bed. Now I bought this on my own on the Molly Mutt website and I didn't even know they had their products on Amazon. So they don't have my specific design on Amazon, but they have some similar ones on there. So our color scheme in our living room is black, white, well, black cream and colors like that, black cream, neutrals and yellow and stuff like that. And we wanted Coda's new area to, you know, flow very well with the rest of the living room. So I wanted to give him something nicer because Coda is at his adult weight now and I could get him his final crate and his crate cover. Cause we were using a blanket at first cause you know, you want to get a crate cover. So when they're being nosy and won't fall asleep, they don't get distracted by everything else that's going on. So we got him a nice crate cover from Molly Mutt and we also got the dog bed and the we got the dog bed and dog bed cover from Molly Mutt and it looks so good. It looks very chic and goes very well with the living room. Um but they do have some other designs on Amazon that they don't have on the actual Molly Mutt website. Like they have different inventory. So I'll leave a link to the one that we have if it's still available and then I'll leave a link to the Amazon listings that they do have. So I think I did good with this video because I had so much stuff to talk about. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna be doing more Amazon home content, fashion content, and beauty content every month just like this. So look out for that content on a continuous basis. Um, I still have to do my Amazon favorites um, as far as fashion goes because I've been doing that a lot. I've been doing a lot of fashion content with Amazon this year. Um, but I'm gonna focus on like spring summer stuff that I've you know tried over the last few months. But before I put that video up I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do a yellow and white Amazon outfits video for you guys and see what I like from that video and then I'm gonna incorporate it into my fashion uh, favorites video. So look for that I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.